today I'm going to be talking to you about how you can find your purpose in life. That is, if you haven't found it already. Now, I will be speaking to a general audience here, so not necessarily for you. But because this is a YouTube video, I'm going to be speaking to a wide audience. So whatever I say further on may or may not apply to you. So, as I continue to grow and develop as a person, I notice that life isn't just all about becoming this logical and knowledgeable and genius human being where you just keep learning, nope, but rather it's a matter of unlearning all those unnecessary shit that had caused all these suffering and pain and confusion when finding my purpose in life. What do I mean? Well, let's define purpose so you can have a better understanding to where I'm coming from. Purpose is that thing where we want to achieve because in the end, it makes us happy. Some would say, oh, that's just your passion, mate. Same shit, passion, purpose, hopes, goals and dreams. They're just the same to me. I can't imagine you pursuing something in the end only to be unhappy. That's not how I do things. If I was to pursue my purpose, it would be because it makes me happy in the end. Now, before I continue, I'd like to give you three quick disclaimers. One, do not take anything I say seriously. I am just an entertainer. Two, follow the rules of the land that you live in. Be a good citizen. I do not promote criminal-like behaviors. I'm a good citizen. And three, be an adult as you watch me. I am not teaching children. I'm teaching adults. If you get offended by swear words, then again, turn this video off. So how could you find your purpose in life? That is, if you haven't found it already. I'll, I'll give you a perspective. I want you to revisit your childhood self, generally around the age of eight years old, because this was the time, the golden years of your life, when you knew exactly what you liked and what you didn't like. You were more cautious of the world around you Therefore, you knew what your purpose was at that age. What was it that excited you the most? What was it that kept you up all night the most? Where you'd be talking about it among your friends because it just it fulfilled you so much. What was that glint in your eyes? This could be a certain hobby, a skill that you were really good at, or even just an experience that you liked doing. It could be any of those. And get this, even to this day, as an adult, you still find yourself drawn to that purpose. You still like the idea of pursuing your childhood purpose. <clears throat> but unfortunately, as time goes on, you lose in touch with your childhood purpose. As you continue to learn Society literally pulls you out of your innocence and corrupts you with their ideas. They corrupt you and start telling you how you should live your life instead. What do I mean by society? Well, your parents, friends, teachers and social media. They do this to keep, to keep a certain level of control over you so that you don't end up threatening their ideas when two people have conflicting ideas, there will be war, if it's that severe. Otherwise, you just avoid that motherfucker, wouldn't you? I can't imagine you. Why would you hang out with them anyway? Maybe to learn, sure. Now, do they really want the best out of you? They do, don't get me wrong. It's not always darkness and misery, no. What has bad also has good. They, some want the best out of you and some don't, but in this case, some do want the best out of you because with with parents friends teachers and social media also comes beautiful experiences in life i get it whenever my parents tell me to go to university or find a job and i kept telling them no because it was uh because i was uh brand new to my purpose i was building a foundation for myself it Felt, it feels like they're pulling me out of my purpose in life. But don't get angry at them. Don't get angry at 
society because they're just testing you. They're testing you to see where you stand between you and your purpose in life. But the way I see it, they're just trying to contribute to my life in some way, shape or form. And that right there is totally appreciative. There's nothing worse than living your life not being acknowledged by anyone and instead being ignored by everyone to the point where you feel absolutely lonely and have no one to talk to. Like, for example, could you imagine yourself in a house party right now? You're surrounded with good company, your friends, everyone's laughing and smiling with good music. And then an old friend of yours walks into that room. You say hi to them and wave and you smile. But they just look at you up and down before quickly turning their heads and they go their merry way. Could you imagine how you'd feel at that moment? You'd feel absolutely disrespected, right? Because they didn't acknowledge your presence. If you want to disrespect someone, the quickest way to do that is just ignore them. If you don't like the person, just ignore them. <laughs> They'd feel super disrespected. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> now, let me tell you a story about two brothers, okay? who wanted to climb a mountain because on top of the mountain is everything they desired, their wants, their needs, basically the treasure. It doesn't have to be two brothers, it could be two sisters, two couple, two giraffes, or maybe just two bananas, I don't give a shit. It could be any of those in your story, but in my story, it's two brothers. All right, so, but in order to get there, they had to climb their separate paths. They can't hold hands and go together. They had to walk their separate journeys in order to get to the top of the mountain. So the first brother, he set off his journey and immediately he gets angry over the long distance walk. When he came upon a river, he got frustrated that all his equipments got wet. And as he was brushing through the bushes and leaves, right, he was irritated by the sound of animals echoing into his ears but eventually he got to the top of the mountain and claimed his treasure hooray right the second brother on the other hand rather than getting angry over the long distance walk he appreciated the nature when he came upon a river he celebrated his conquest when crossing it and as he was brushing through the bushes and leaves he admired the calming and healing aspects of the plants and animals and eventually he got to the top of the mountain and claimed his treasure. Hooray! So both brothers gone through hell and faced their own obstacles and eventually got their own treasures. But one of them was truly happy. Now how could this be? Both got their treasures. Why would only one be happy? Shouldn't it be both of them? It could have been but one of them was truly happy, the other one was unhappy. Can you guess which one's which? The first brother was unhappy in the end, whereas the second brother was very happy. Why? Well, let's have a look at the first brother, shall we? All throughout the first brother's journey, he was angry, irritated and frustrated throughout the process. Even though he handled it, in the end he realized and said to himself, that all the hard work that he put and effort was just not worth it in the end. He expected more from the reward and so he was not satisfied in the end. But the second brother on the other hand, because he saw good things in his journey, he was happy in the end. What I'm trying to say is, if you want to be happy at your destination, you gotta enjoy the process. So when it comes to finding your purpose in life, it was never about achieving your purpose, but rather the process in getting there. How do you see your process in getting there? That's basically what I wanted to say about the story. So, what are the key things that you can take from this video? If you want to find your purpose in life, then I want you to revisit your childhood self generally around the age of 8 years old because this was the time where you just didn't care about anybody's opinions and you did things because it made you happy in the end 
you knew what your purpose was at that age. But as time goes on, and you continue to get to continue to get um, ridiculed by everyone, and you learn all these things from them, mm -hmm. you lose in touch with your original purpose, and so you start pursuing other things in life. But don't get angry at them because they're just trying to contribute to your life in some way, shape or form. Instead, I want you to see the good things in them. Because just like climbing the mountain, you have to enjoy the process if you want to be happy at your destination, is what I'm saying here. Your purpose may change throughout the journey and that's absolutely fine. As long as you enjoy the process, then you'd be you'd be in a better position like you're the fir you're, like you're the second brother in the story rather than the first right now to some i'd also like to add that if you can creatively find a way to make income out of your purpose then you're gold mate you would be super satisfied with your living situation right that's basically it on what I wanted to say in this video. I wanted to keep this short and straight to the point. If you've already found your purpose in life, then congratulations, I clap for you. Because, you know, you must have worked so hard to get to where you are now to this day. Right? My name is Clyde and I represent Jacker's Edit as well as the people from Cardiff all the way to Swansea and along those towns within those areas such as Bridgend. As Araj Dibazar said, my number one teacher of life, be the best and fuck the rest. Let's go. Thank you for watching everyone. If you genuinely learned something of value, I'd appreciate you leave a like and share this to your friends who may benefit from it. You'd be a good friend to them. See you soon. This is for the this is for the thumbnail. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. <laughs>